guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So you guys are probably wondering where have I been for the past, well, it's been over a month, but it's been a long time since I've recorded any content and I just, I don't know, I guess YouTube was sort of getting old for me and I just needed to take a long break. And now that I'm back, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to change how I do videos so that I don't get, um, well, I, I, first of all, I want to get more content out than I have been in the past. I know I've been aiming for daily and I haven't always been able to meet that requirement and I kind of just want to, well, first of all, meet that daily requirement, but also make it so that you, like, my content is more enjoyable and more interesting to watch and I want it to, to be a lot less stressful. Uh, I think that'll make better content for you guys and make it easier for me to make the videos. Um, so as you can see here, we're playing a Riven Draven uh, deck. This is a j basic aggro. We're not playing um, the Give It All discard aggro version, but instead we're playing with the uh, fair and top end uh, for the finisher sort of. And uh, I feel like this version's a lot of fun. It's probably the my favorite version because Riven is so cool. I have been te tempering or tempering, uh, messing around with a uh, Give It All deck. That plays Draven and Teemo along with I think one copy of Riven right now. I'll show that in a couple of uh, videos in the future and based on how the meta changes I will do more content. But guys I'm super excited to try out all these new cards. As you know I've been gone for a month and that means there's a lot of new stuff to explore. A lot of new cards to talk about. I won't be doing any spoiler reviews or anything that's old by now. But I will be doing uh, a lot of new videos and hopefully... Uh, they'll be interesting. Now he's going to Raven this flock here, that's obvious. Uh, he's also going to Mystic Shot for some reason. I don't see what why he would Mystic Shot with that. Um, I don't know, maybe his hand just... I don't know what that reads about his hand. I <laughs> It's been a long time. But if I had to read anything into it, it means his unit is not... Un his hand is not unit heavy and he's relying on removal. Um... Here comes an Ezreal. Uh, we could kill this or we could not. I think I'm going to play Rune Reaver here to leave my options open so we could potentially kill the Ezreal with our Thermo Beam. That's basically the whole idea here. Uh, this deck is all about maxing out value with Riven and um, more than not just using cards like Rummage to discard away Axes or even Riven's, um, I don't remember what they're called, Forge cards. Uh, just because they're not very useful and getting card draw out of them is actually super valuable for an aggressive deck like this. Uh, we can also just use them for value. Uh, a lot of the time Riven's cards are going to make our combat so much better and of course leveling up Draven's always a good thing to be doing. Uh, House Spider into Draven seems pretty good. We're going to get a pretty nice attack based on the fact that we know his hand's not going to be super unit heavy. And we're going to see that right here where he's waiting. He doesn't have a good unit to drop down here. Uh, which is pretty great for us. Um, pretty great read. Um, so guys, I just want to say... Ooh, okay, so apparently I was wrong. By the way, some treasure. Super cool card to see in the meta. With that 4 attack status, it can kill Rivens pretty easily, which is something that is huge for a 3 mana... Sorry, yeah, no, wait. 3 mana card that can uh, cycle away something and even get value out of it in certain discard. Aggro decks, which is super cool, super cool. I love that. Uh, I love that effect. Um... So, I, I do want to talk about some of the things I missed out on. First of all, I missed out on cosmetics and uh, the end of the KDA event. So, I didn't I don't have a lot of the KDA cards. And I also don't have a lot of the new champions because I haven't been grinding and getting uh, my weekly vault uh, value uh, out of my weekly vault. So, that is going to be something I'm going to need to be working on. Sort of building back up so I can get more champions. I did have to do like two expeditions to get Riven. And I already had like 6,000 gems. So, I mean... It's a work in progress, guys. But something I did notice is that you get... Now you have new cosmetics. You can make your cards' uh, borders look pretty cool with these, like, red gem things. I don't even remember what they're called. And I was like, this is super cool. You can actually make your favorite card shine up or even just shine up your... Uh, what's that? There's, there's this one new card that I... It's a common. I'll show it up on screen right here. I totally am dumb for forgetting the name. Um, that I would love to get the, the, uh, the fancy border for it. Um, but I was looking at the prices, I was like, okay, 100 for a common is not that bad, 700 for an, a champion is also not that bad, and I, like, I got 100 for just opening up the app, or not opening up the app, um, doing something. I think it was, I think it was a, a return thing that I came back and they're like, okay, here's a reward for logging in, or just from the event or whatever, I don't remember, and I got 100, I was like, okay, cool, it shouldn't be that hard to get it for the champion, and it counts for every single copy you own for that champion, so I was like, that's pretty great. 
it's not like sleeves and magic where you have to have one for each individual card or like each individual card has to be foiled or sleeved or whatever it actually counts for them all that's pretty sick and then i work my butt off to to get this uh specific reward that's supposed to give you this this red gem thing and that's all it gives and it gives me 25 when i complete it it's like play 150 rounds or something like that i don't quite remember maybe it was take 100 it was probably one take 150 turns and i was like really 25 they're all even numbers like you have to buy 100 for a common 300 for like a rare or something i don't even remember but it's all even numbers and i was like how's 25 ever going to matter in the grand scheme of things oh by the way this attack is probably looks really wrong um i think we do win this game with the captain parent but this attack basically is to get as much chip damage chip damage as possible and we're at a pretty good life total i'm not worried about the leveled up as now i do make a critical mistake here which is on me but um we'll talk about that in a second um his uh by the way i love i love our acting sentry on the attacking turn because it gives you an attacker and it stops an opponent from getting a blocker so basically it swings the combat towards you one way and it does not on defense too but on the attack it's so much cooler and feels so much better so he's making weird blocks here with his three twos i think he realizes like, keeping his life up as much as possible is the best way to go now i do try to whirling death here to kill his ezreal to get the most value out of the axes now i should have let the damage go through let my draven die and then i could have ravenous blocked or scorched earth thing and i now looking back i'm just like that's so dumb i should have done that and i could have played replayed draven this or this turn or next turn like that was just that would have just been so much more value i would have denied him the mystic shot value and here he's gonna play his own draven and uh our hand is much bigger than his, and our board is actually looking pretty nice. We are going to have to deal with this Ezreal for a little bit, because we can't directly kill it yet. And that is going to mean that we're in a bit of a doozy. But this okay, this turn, it looks like... Ooh, that's actually a great Thermal Beam, because we can play Captain Farron. Um, and then have three mana left. But this Captain Farron is coming down this turn, and it's going to be the end game he's gonna see that he's out of cards ezreal's only doing one damage with the new uh with the new nerf and how you look on it and we just we're just gonna take we're just gonna win this game pretty easily um i don't see how we could possibly uh well okay that's a little preemptive if he has his own farin or if he gets enough spells with ezreal yes he could win the game ezreal's getting two four five damage here just off this attack and two mana then he can play whatever cards he has in his hand the spinning axe and the mushroom clouds that's going to be, with the Mushroom Clouds, it could be potentially 2 damage per cloud, and that's, and if it adds up in the right way, we're just going to lose. Um, he does choose to discard the Mushroom Cloud, so that reads, whatever it, whatever is in his hand is worth more than 2 potential damage, I'm going to say, possibly 3. The 5 Mushroom Clouds are better than they look, guys, and um, it could be a Ravenous Flock for our Farron to stop it from getting combat damage next turn to try to keep him alive for a whole extra turn. Here we are going to deal 3 damage to Ezreal, take it down uh, just enough uh, to Scorched Earth or Ravenous Block range, and we can of course kill the other Chump Womp, basically meaning that we have a pretty sick uh, board state compared to his, and he's going to have a hard time coming back with our 3-8 three, uh, three Decimates, which are basically going to kill him. That's what, 12 damage? We just need to deal 3 the uh, three rest, and uh, so overall... We're looking pretty good here, guys. This game is pretty easy. The We did make a couple mistakes, but I feel like the Farron at the end really pulled us through to the end um, and kept us from losing the game. So, anyway, with the, I know, the cosmetic thing was weird. It's like, really? You, you just get 25 and not the full 100? It's kind of crazy. Um, so, for those of you who are still watching at this point of the video, which, why are you? No one does. I, I look at my statistics. Most people don't watch this late. Um... But this, besides the, that's besides the point, I do want to ask, what do you guys want to see in my new video? Thinking that overall, uh, I want to do a lot more content that's sort of uh, story-based. You know, I see a lot of YouTubers who are like playing whatever game they want, just talking about daily life or things. And I thought that was weird. But, re but realizing who I'm probably talking to, it'd be more interesting than listening to me give a play-by-play -play of what I'm doing. When you can obviously see that, and hopefully you are just able to you know make your own receptions about what uh what's going on here i do make the choice to scorched earth having an 8-2 farron on defense and of course on the offensive next turn is just nice i don't know if it was the right play we didn't have enough mana for two decimates anyway um i could have just let that that attack through see if he was bluffing he, no one would bluff that situation though right no one would do that 
Uh, so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, decimate here and then ravenous flock the as trying to prevent any additional damage he could get. Uh, I was waiting on the ravenous flock if you could tell uh, to see if he was gonna play any slow speed spells that I could cancel out the damage from. Um, although that was kind of dumb because if he was gonna or if he was gonna play any fast speed, that's what I meant because. If he plays a fast speed, I can counter with Ravenous Flock, he doesn't get the additional damage, but if I play Ravenous Flock, he can, in response, get the additional damage. But here he's only going to get one. I don't know what card he has in hand. Um, he should have played it if it was fast speed there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get the four damage, and we're just going to win this game. Uh, so I, I was saying that I wanted to know if you guys want to see sort of that, like, where I just give random commentary, or if I actually talk about the game, or if you guys want to see something more like... Um, where I just go over cool decks in the meta and see and talk about certain things. Like, maybe I do a card of the week sort of thing. I don't know. I've, I've been doing a lot of thought, guys, and I really want to come back, um, you know, full strength this time. And so, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoy my content, if you do like and subscribe. And, uh, with that, I will probably see you guys tomorrow with another video. Hopefully less boring than this one was. And yeah, I'm just gonna, you guys already know how this game ends, so I'm gonna stop recording now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.